Hello everyone, Mr. Nacho here and today I wanted to share with you all of the new corrupted weapons. Let's start by how you obtain those weapons. So basically what you want to do is you want to go and collect the corrupted shards. This is a material that drops only from the new aberrations that spawn randomly in the world. So whenever there could be a potentially an elite, there is a chance that it will be an aberration, the new one instead and whenever you kill it you will get one corrupted shard and one of the new mutators so whenever you obtain 10 of the corrupted shards what you want to do is you want to walk up to dwell you want to talk to him and right here in this menu there will be five new weapons that you can craft that we will just go through really quickly the first weapon that i wanted to share with you is the new affilian and basically what it does is it creates the same kind of an explosion that the normal one would but it shoots out five corrupted stars, stars instead of just one which means that the AoE would be bigger the mod power requirement is smaller and the damage is smaller as well so let's see uh, just so I don't off myself really quickly it should five, five of these and then they explode, putting fire to everything around them. This doesn't really do that much damage, but it's great in the AoE situations and it's even better if you want to run a dot build and just apply burning to enemies. The primary fire of this weapon looks like this. So it's much, much better than the single shot of the regular affiliate, and it can hit the same enemy multiple times because of the different hitboxes. I guess normally you will want to run it with harmonizer or something like failsafe. Uh, unless you want to run it for the dot build, then you would obviously want to run twisting wounds on it. But other than that, it's just a decent weapon. Uh, I think that this is a straight up upgrade from the regular affiliate, and I think that it's a good addition to the game. Next up, we have the Corrupted Meridian and what it does is the primary fire of this weapon is the mod from the regular Meridian. So it's just a rocket launcher. It will just shoot a cluster of bombs that will explode a few times. Uh, you need to remember that I resonance and amplitude maxed out right now. So the explosion will be a little bit bigger than normally, but it looks something like this. Yeah, it has a nice sound effect, it does some decent damage, it's nice because it staggers enemies as well, so it's good for the crowd control situations. It's just generally a decent weapon, but I would strongly recommend running kinship with it, because it does insane damage to your teammates, so... If you run it solo, that's fine, if you want to run it with teammates, then... Well, better run kinship or they will hate you. The next weapon that I wanted to show you is the Corrupted Deceit. Uh, it's generally just decent. I think that it's not an upgrade from the regular one. It's just a different version of it. I prefer the regular one, but this one is nice as well. So basically what it does is it will fire a blade that will just keep on going until you press the mod again. Then it will stay in place and keep spinning and apply the passive where you will only hit the weak spots. And then again, you can press it to recall the blade. It's kind of laborious and there is a lot of going on, so you need to keep in mind that you will need to press the mod a lot of times if you want to optimize how you use it. You can just let it go and it will come back eventually, but then you are losing a ton of DPS. So this is way more actions per minute than the regular Deceit and I don't think that the damage is worth it, but this is how it looks like. So this is the mod. I obviously missed because it goes away pretty quickly. I will try again. And it hit something and it just went up. Well, it's not the easiest one to use. And let's try again. Yeah, I didn't miss this time, so we should only get weak spot damage. It went somewhere and it should come back soon. Yeah, it did. It's not the best, it's difficult to use, but once you master it, I think that it can be a lot of fun and it will deal nice, nicely with a lot of enemies. If you can just make it stop and spin it 
in place. Or in tight corridors, it will just keep bouncing, which is nice as well. Other than that, it's just a decent weapon. I don't really think that it's an upgrade yet again, but it's fine to use and it's quite fun. Go ahead and give it a shot. The next gun is the Corrupted Rune Pistol. And I actually like this mod a lot. The weapon itself is great. It has a very nice sound design to it. The shots actually feel like they have some impact. It's fully automatic. It shoots slower, but it does more damage. And the mod on it is extremely nice. So basically it will just apply the death brand to all enemies within some range. And keep in mind that I have amplitude and resonance maxed out. So the values here will be a little bit different. But basically they will just take more damage, take 10% more damage from you from all sources. And whenever they are killed, while they have the death brand, they will leave an orb behind them. And whenever you collect the orb, you will have 10% increased damage, weak spot damage for 10 seconds. So if you want to collect it, you will get even more damage than the death brand itself will already give you which is, well, it's just a nice mod to use. It does a nice job for being a support weapon and it holds its own whenever it's just a gun without its mod, if you just want to use it for mobbing. Yeah. The reload is decent, the damage is okay. The mod itself, as you can see, it shows up this mark and we just deal 10% more damage to the enemies right now. It's a nice weapon. I would highly recommend it. I think that it's a direct upgrade from the rune pistol. And I think that it's a great gun itself. And last but not least, maybe it is, because this is the biggest disappointment of this entire update. This is the Corrupted Merciless and it's just a terrible weapon. I couldn't find any decent setup to use it with. I don't like it and I hope that it gets changed because Merciless has one of the coolest designs for a weapon but it just does terrible damage. It's much much worse than the original Merciless and I would not recommend anyone take it. If you have limited resources, so if you don't have all of the corrupted shards and you can't afford them all, buy this one last. Don't even think about it too much. Maybe they will patch it and buff it in the future, but right now it's just terrible. So basically what it does, it just changes the gun from full auto to a, to a high power, slow firing weapon. And the high power doesn't really do that much damage. You can get way more damage with any single shot weapon with some uh, weapons like bows or even the crossbow. Crossbow is much better weapon than this is. So this is telling something already. The mod on it is nice though. It will give you an almost instant reload if you hit the three shots consecutively as a weak spot. So this has some upside if you can make it only be used with the mod, if you can like reduce the mod power requirement and you can get it to... It's just a terrible gun. Let me show you because uh, I don't really even want to use this gun. Let's go. Yeah, with the mod, the flow of it is pretty nice, but as soon as the mod runs out, it has the terrible merciless reload. It has the terrible fire rate. The damage on it is not great. It's just a bad weapon overall. Uh, if anyone can make it work, please let me know. I wasn't able to do anything with it. I love the design. I mean, the visual design, but the weapon itself is just bad which breaks my heart, but that's that's what I think. So these were all of the five new weapons that you can obtain right now. Uh, if you want a quick tip on how to obtain the most corrupted shards during the event, which is today and tomorrow only, what you want to do is basically you want to go to Yeisha and you want to find the root nexus on a low difficulty possibly, just so you can fight the mobs right there easily. You want to leave the root nexus at about 20 to 25% HP 
and then you just want to go and watch some Netflix on the other screen and just wait for the Nexus to keep spawning enemies. It will have a chance to spawn the new aberrations and I was getting a new aberration every let's say 5 to 10 minutes. Uh, every like 4th or 5th wave that the Nexus spawned I was getting the new aberration. This is the way that you can get all of the new mutators and uh, all of the materials that you need for the corrupted weapons. I would say that this is the best farm for the next two days. After that, who knows, but this is a great place to obtain all of the new mutators if you want. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Uh, please let me know what you think about the new weapons in the comments below and have a great day.